we're going to drape this feature line onto a surface. We'll go up to the Modify tab. Now let's scroll over a little bit. Let's pan over to BC. Go to the Modify tab. Then over to the Edit Elevations panel once again. Right here. Elevations from Surface. We're going to click this. We're going to use EG as our surface. We're going to leave everything at its defaults, so then click OK. Then we're going to select that feature line. You can see a bunch of stuff happening here. Just going to press Enter to accept it. And then if we go to the Elevation Editor, you can see that we've got a lot of stuff going on here. Each of these, if you want to call them uh, PIs or whatever, PVIs, these are where the, the, triang the triangulation points or the triangulation lines are crossing the line. If I check this box and I go into existing grade surface properties and I change the style to the tri triangles and points, apply, then I'll see how you can see where all of the triangulation is crossing our feature line and you can see that we have essentially a point where it's crossing. So that's, what's, that's, that's how it's determining that. Next, I could probably just undo that uh, style change. There we go. We're back to where we were. And that's essentially it. Let me see here. The elevation editor displays the data for each elevation point along the feature line BC. Let's bring that back up. These are all the elevations along the feature line that are draped onto our existing grade surface. So that's what's going on there. Uh, including its elevation, the distance, grade to the next point. A feature line on the surface like this can be, can be a useful starting point for grading. You can use controls along the top of the grading elevation editor to add and delete elevation points and to adjust their elevations. You can select multiple points within the table for group operations, such as if you select this point, then hold down shift, then select this, you can edit multiple points, essentially. You can raise them up or down or whatever, or what have you, or you can even flatten their elevations to the same value. So you have multiple points that are selected. You can select all of these and type in, I don't know, 600. And all of them will change. I'm going to undo that. There we go. So that's essentially it for assigning feature line elevations. That's, that's pretty nifty being able to drape a feature line over an existing grade surface because if you're looking to design a ditch or, or something like that, it can be helpful. There's more than one way to do everything, right? Especially in Civil 3D.